Welcome friends to this comprehensive, evidence-backed study on everything you need to know about high blood pressure. High blood pressure, also known as hypertension, is quite a common condition. It's when the force of the blood pushing against the walls of your blood vessels becomes consistently too high. More like a persistent unwelcome guest, it doesn't just show up and leave. Hypertension usually develops over several years, often without any noticeable symptoms. It's a silent lurker gradually causing damage without you even knowing it. That's why it is crucial to have regular blood pressure readings. Early detection can make all the difference. It's akin to having a leak in your home. The sooner you spot it, the less damage it can cause. Understanding high blood pressure is the first step towards managing it effectively. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Now, you might be wondering what causes high blood pressure. Well, it's a common question with a multifaceted answer. High blood pressure isn't caused by a single factor, but rather a blend of genetic, environmental, and lifestyle influences. To begin with, our genes play a significant role. If your parents or close relatives have hypertension, you're more likely to develop it too. It's a bit like inheriting your grandmother's eye color or your father's sense of humor. Our genetic makeup can predispose us to high blood pressure, but it doesn't mean we're destined to have it. Next up, age. As we grow older, our blood vessels naturally become less flexible and more narrow, making it harder for blood to flow through, thereby increasing the pressure. It's a bit like trying to push a large amount of water through a small garden hose. The pressure will inevitably go up. Certain health conditions can also contribute to high blood pressure. For instance, kidney disease, diabetes, and sleep apnea can all lead to increased blood pressure. These conditions often cause secondary hypertension, which appears suddenly and is higher than primary hypertension. Speaking of which, let's talk about the two types of hypertension. Essential, also known as primary and secondary. Essential hypertension has no identifiable cause and tends to develop gradually over many years. It's like a slow burning fire often going unnoticed until it's potentially problematic. On the other hand, Secondary hypertension is a bit like a fire alarm going off. It's usually caused by an underlying condition and appears suddenly. It serves as a warning sign that there's another health issue that needs addressing. So there are many factors that can contribute to high blood pressure, some within our control and others not. Let's delve into how high blood pressure gets diagnosed and treated. Diagnosing high blood pressure isn't a one-time event. It's a process that involves consistent monitoring of blood pressure readings. When you visit your healthcare professional, they'll likely measure your blood pressure several times to ensure the readings are accurate. This is because blood pressure can fluctuate throughout the day and it's important to get a precise picture of your health. If your blood pressure readings are consistently high, your doctor may order additional tests. These tests can help identify any underlying causes, such as kidney disease or hormonal imbalances, which could be contributing to your high blood pressure. They also help assess any organ damage that may have already occurred due to prolonged hypertension. Once a diagnosis is confirmed, the journey doesn't end there. Managing high blood pressure is an ongoing process that involves a comprehensive treatment plan. This plan is typically tailored to your individual needs and may involve a combination of medication and lifestyle changes. Medication can help control high blood pressure but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. What works for one person might not work for another, and it may take some trial and error to find the most effective medication for you. Your healthcare provider will monitor your response to different medications and adjust your treatment plan as needed. In addition to medication, addressing underlying conditions such as diabetes or high cholesterol can also be an essential part of the treatment plan. This holistic approach helps to manage not just your blood pressure, but your overall health as well. But remember, medication is just one part of the equation. Making healthy lifestyle changes is equally important. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, stress management, quitting smoking, and reducing alcohol consumption can all help control your blood pressure and improve your overall health. Treatment for high blood pressure can be a process of trial and error, but with the right approach, it can be managed effectively. Beyond medication, lifestyle changes play a crucial role in managing high blood pressure. A heart-healthy diet is a fundamental shift that can make a significant difference. 
Incorporating fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and limiting sodium intake can help regulate blood pressure levels. Exercise too is a powerful tool in this fight. Regular physical activity strengthens the heart, making it more efficient at pumping blood, subsequently reducing the pressure on your arteries. Aim for around 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. Stress management is another key component. Chronic stress may contribute to high blood pressure, and finding healthy ways to cope such as meditation, yoga, or simply taking time for yourself can be beneficial. If you're a smoker, quitting is one of the best things you can do for your blood pressure. The chemicals in tobacco can raise your blood pressure by damaging your blood vessel walls and narrowing your arteries. Likewise, reducing alcohol consumption can help lower blood pressure and improve overall health. Lastly, it's important to remember that prevention is just as crucial as management. By taking steps to lower risk factors, like maintaining a healthy weight and monitoring your blood pressure regularly, you can help prevent hypertension from developing in the first place. Remember the key to managing high blood pressure is often in your hands through the lifestyle choices you make. So that's everything you need to know about high blood pressure. From understanding the causes to recognizing the importance of regular readings for early detection, we've covered it all. We've delved into the ins and outs of diagnoses and treatments and underscored the role of lifestyle changes in managing this common yet often silent condition. Knowledge is power, and armed with this information, you're better equipped to navigate the path to healthier living. If you found this video useful, please leave a comment below. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to detox from sugar and learn how to curb your sugar cravings, watch the video on your screen next. Finally, remember to use our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. It can be your companion and accountability partner on your journey to better health.